www.sdbank.com here in this in this session we will discuss about product relationships product relationships is a concept in dynamics 365 by using which we can associate we can relate one product to another product there are four types of relationship product relationships in dynamics 365 upshell crosshell substitute and accessories using these four shelling techniques we can associate one product with another now what is an upshell upshell is something which is a technique that all salesmen use to sell some higher end purchase higher end products to the customers in addition to the customers in addition to the products in question and cross shell is something to sell an additional product which is related to the existing product substitute is a technique in, in which another substitute product is sold to the customer for a better profit and accessories is nothing but relationship between two products which where one acts one product acts as an accessory for the other let's say laptop then you can have the keypad external keypad external mouse can be an accessory to the laptop and substitute if you want to purchase a microsoft surface uh, pro 3 then a, there might be a product called a surface pro 4 which can be a substitute of that product and cross sell is something which you want to sell some additional products and upsell as i have told you just to you know sell more product upsell techniques are used so how these four types are configured in Dynamics 365? Now let's let's move on to the Dynamics 365 and we'll configure we'll configure the relationships. For that you have to go to settings and the business then product catalog. And here we will find let's, let's open an existing product as i have already told you in the last session how to create products now let's open one product let's say w wi laptop 15. so this is the product i can select for the demo purpose just open this product Once you open the product, there is a section in the product called its product relationship. Okay, so this is the product that we have already in the system. Now we can use this product to configure the you know product relationship. Now click this pop-up title, then go to additional details. In this additional details, you can see there are some product relationships we have already configured. Okay. Now for as this is a laptop product, we have three accessories we have attached to it as a relation product relationship. One is literal laptop keyboard x105 which is the accessory and literal usb optical mouse e200 which is an accessory and literal a wireless mouse m35 which is also an accessory now we also add some relationships for upselling purpose now this is our product and we can select a related product for upselling let, let's say carbon fiber 3d printing consumable i want to upsell this 3d printing consumables as a upselling is upselling product and which should be unidirectional unidirectional and bidirectional is a concept which tells that whether the uh, existing product can be can be act as a you know uh, 
official for the second one and vice versa so if i will select by direction now then both this product will be up will be treated as a treated for upselling whenever any one of these products are sold now let's say it is unidirectional then you can save it now as soon you save it the line item is created here in product relationship of this existing product now i can also add another relationship here for let's say cross selling we can select a product called as 27 inch patient monitor and it should be unidirectional let's say now i have configured the cross shell relationship and one more i can add as we have already defined accessories here and we have added just off shell and cross shell relationship i can also add here the substitute substitute i can select look for more records And here look for products with the string contains laptop now this laptop 16 m 600 6000 will, will be treated as the you know substitute product of this laptop 15 m0150 product let let it be in directional and share Now I have just configured the product relationship for this product WWI laptop 15M0150 and whenever now I have just configured completely with this product relationship. Now we will see how these are usable in transactional records. If you go to any opportunity, go to opportunity, sales and opportunity. And let's say uh, create new opportunity for, for the time being for a better clarity. Now give it a topic here. Laptop required. And let's save it. Once you save it, we will go to the section where product like line items can be added. Here first we have to choose the price list here. Let's say it is retail and this is system calculated revenue and we will add here the existing product. Let's say WWI. Then this is the product that we have configured the relationships product relationships now once you add this you will find a suggestion link here okay if you click the suggestion link then it will show you all the you know it will show you second something happened yes so it will show you all the you know uh, all the uh, product relationships that we have configured in the system now here you will find the accessories and here you can find the off shelling you know product that we have created and this is the substitute now from here you can also pick this product so that these products will be added in in the you know opportunity 
now if you click add to list then all the products that we have created we have just selected will be added here now this is how you can configure the upselling product cross selling product substitute and accessories for a specific a specific product and while creating these transactional records like opportunity or order or you know code then you can add all these products and all these you know uh, product relationships will be available through suggestion link and you can uh, you know go to the life cycle of sales and uh, for, for a potential opportunity win so this is how product relationship works in system so thanks for watching this tutorial and in next session i'll try to give you some idea on uh, on you know um, um, product family and then product bonding thank you